Polyvinyl chloride is short for PVC and is the world's third most widely produced synthetic plastic polymer. Most commonly used for plumbing, but has a plethora of other interesting uses. I like it because it's cheap, easy to work with, and light, which is perfect for this PC build because I plan to take it with me when I travel. Acrylic or plexiglass glass makes for some good windows as we all know, but it is also going to hold the ITX PC case together along with screws, not glue. Just remember when drilling into plastic slow and steady to avoid cracking. Recent trip to Georgia made me realize the Xbox One Slim was a horrible idea due to the fact that it always has to update even after you figure out how to connect up to the motel's Wi-Fi. And then the controllers had to update, are you kidding me? And to put salt on the wound when all of that is taken care of, your favorite game needs to update as well. Isn't it bad enough Microsoft controls everything on Windows 10? Well, that's a different story. So my plan is this. Make a small yet kind of powerful PC with just leftover PVC and acrylic for a case. Something I could play some games on right from the get-go. Or dump high definition footage from my trip rather quickly. Surely I could just purchase an outrageously priced gaming laptop. But since the batteries never last, I'm going to be plugged up to the wall anyways. So in my head, this PC uh, seemed simple, but hours of mocking up things, uh, it was just wasn't. For each victory, I had just as many defeats. But that's fine, it's all about trying and failing. But, you know, just coming back another day and maybe, you know, just all the pieces start to fit together and you'll be like, whoa, why didn't I think of that before? You know, it's just stuff like that. I cut the half-inch PVC pieces 7 inches long. I attached them together with side outlet elbow fittings, and those were around 88 cents a piece. Boom, I got a cube frame. I mocked it up with an Asus motherboard until I found a way to get it to work. Then I replaced the motherboard with an ASRock FM2, which his AMD friend resided, 870K. I hung the 420 watt power supply with metal pipe hangers that I spray painted, and the game box started to come to life. That CPU cooler just isn't going to cut it, so off to Amazon I go. I found a mastered liquid from Cooler Master, which was $50. And, uh, yeah, how's it going to fit? I don't know. Just going to have to wait and see. Needless to say, I got it all to fit and slapped in a GT1030. This baby runs cool and runs quiet. It also has an 80mm fan behind the motherboard for additional cooling. I also have a mini SSD drive, and it holds the operating system. It also has 8GB of 1600 DDR3. I think we should test this out though. What do you think? <laughs> 